Good morning. It's Monday morning and 20 to 12. I'm at Rez just studying for maths. Those are all of the iteration formula that I'm trying to remember. I actually know most of them off the heart already. Good morning. It's um Wednesday, Tuesday. God, I don't know. It's Wednesday morning, just before uh, 8. It's nice and rainy today. It's actually been raining the entire night for the past few days. Beautiful. Just been learning some ELI, it's my next test. That's how to do bode plots, amplitude and uh, phase for all the different zeros, um, poles, zeros and imaginary axis, poles and imaginary axis. That's what a bode plot is supposed to look like. Somewhat, I don't know if you can see. But uh, yeah, no, it's going alright. I need 46 to pass this test. And so, really doable. Some of the past papers are really difficult though, so I'm going to do my best. And then after that, just uh, oh, my eggs are ready. After that, just one test to go, and the nine for seven this weekend. So nearly there, nearly at the end of those exams. I'm thoroughly looking forward to this holiday. I've been planning on my calendar, like what I'm going to do and where we're going to go and that, and I'm, I'm so excited. So they're, they're installing a new geezer downstairs. That's productive. But uh, the day before an ELI exam, not super helpful. I'm so ready to move out of res. Sick will menopause, but she got him shit, he got away. Sent him on a car, then we find the city of LA. Bam from all the bars, shotty go, shotty wanna play. What is happening while we take the shitty holiday? Sick will menopause, but she got him shit, he got away. Sent him on a car. So in an ever-increasing attempt to increase productivity, I have started putting my phone in the cupboard, away from distraction, um, and so I can't be tempted to just pick it up and look at it when uh, in the middle of a study session. I've been setting my timer for like hour increments and that, so that and then every hour I'll go check it, uh, and in the meantime just work hard. And I've actually been really productive today, so good tip, I actually got it from Chris. He always actually switches his phone off and puts it away where you can't get it. And then studies like that. So, learn from the best. Which I'm just doing some Fourier series. Uh, I don't know if you can see it up there. It's going well. Uh, yeah. Just carry on until the late hours of the night. Hey, what's up? Oh, I'm at home. I wrote uh, ELI linear systems last night. As I mentioned in my ELI video, it was damn difficult. Um, I think I did okay. I mean, we'll see when the marks came out. But the marks for stats came out. I got 71 uh, final semester mark, which I'm really happy with. It's my highest mark in a while, actually. It means I think I actually actually got an A in the exam. Got a 75 or something. So, really happy with that. Um, I was just walking around the garden earlier with my doggies. Uh, it's such a nice day outside. And uh, I've only just now realized how much I actually appreciate having a new phone. Um, just to have such a nice camera and walking around the garden taking pictures that I never would have taken with my old phone and that's, you know, it's difficult to walk outside with a, a GoPro or your DSLR and that sometimes, you know, it's nice just to carry around such a good camera in your pocket and so it's just going around snapping pictures of the dogs and the trees and that and taking panoramas, yeah, it's just a nice break from the studying. But uh, I'm going to have some food now and then back to studying digital systems. I haven't really started because it's Friday today and only writing next week, Thursday. Um, so, got lots to learn. I brought my FPGA home as well, so that I can practice the VHDL coding on that. But yeah, now I'm excited. Eager to have it over with and done with next Thursday. Not write any saps, and then just have a uh, nice, enjoyable holiday being productive. I've got this list of things that I want to do in the holiday. Um, personal projects, you know, I want to learn things. I need to do maths and that for next year, so that when I repeat maths courses next year it's not so difficult and I can put a little more effort into my third year courses and then also you know just chill do fun stuff read watch movies stuff that I've been putting off um, for literally months now in the aims in in lieu of productivity adversity but yeah back to work Ugh. so I'm just busy um, editing the Psych of Challenge video it's all good well, I wanted to tell a story from yesterday. So yesterday, when Dad and I went out to Northgate to pick up my 947 race number, um, w because the 947 had like a convention where you pick it up, and we went to drop off one of our friends at his house in Lone Hill. Um, well, a friend of a friend who was staying in Lone Hill. Regardless, 
as we were driving through Lone Hill, my dad and I were sitting waiting at a traffic light. And this oak comes running out of like the Lone Hill shopping center. And I'm like, hey dad, is that a gun? And this man is running away from the shopping center, gun in hand, looking absolutely terrified, obviously just having robbed some place. Um, security, fidelity security guard comes running out after him, running down the road. I mean, this is in the middle of the day, broad daylight, like half past 12 in the morning. Um, the security guard starts firing live rounds at this oak. He fires one or two back. I mean, it's the first time I've actually ever heard a gunshot up close and seen bullets being fired. You know, I've seen a pellet gun or whatever, but, and, you know, the pop, pop, pop of bullets, like, I kind of, like, pull, we're waiting at the traffic light. I pull the car over slightly to the side and, like, you know, what do you do in a situation like that? Kind of ducked underneath the dashboard and watched what happened and we didn't see uh, bullets hit the security guard, uh, like, the dirt in front of his feet and that, and they carried on running. We didn't see what happened. Um, but just, you know, I'm like, in broad daylight, in the middle of South Africa, it could happen anywhere, wrong time, wrong place. But my dad and I had just been talking about immigration and the financial situation in the country, not good, by the way. Um, and, you know, like, future opportunities in that for me, for work and moving and that while I'm still young and freedom and flexible and all of those things. And, you know, I don't really want to immigrate out of South Africa. You know, I really like the country. You can't get better weather anywhere else in the world. It's a nice place. The people are friendly as was evident today in the 947 and just the kind of vibe and that and the healthy lifestyle that you get here and the outside lifestyle and the nature and all of that is nice. But with uh, failing economic policies, incompetent politicians and uh, you know, a general pervasive uh, wave of crime, that hasn't affected me personally yet, but that's omnipresent. You really do have to wonder if this is the best place to stay if you have the opportunity to leave. You know, engineers are wanted all over the world. I can get a job probably pretty easily anywhere in the world. And so do I want to stay here in the future? Um, I don't know, something every, I think, young South African is thinking about nowadays. And uh, I don't know, it's just sad and frustrating and annoying, you know, to see it, like, playing out in person. You know, it's not obviously not one crime is going to make me move or whatever, and I'm aware that there's crime everywhere and that, but with failing economic policies... Um, incompetent politicians, no energy, load shedding, um, you know, decreasing health care, education, the national health insurance plan is a uh, disaster waiting to happen. Um, you really got to wonder if this is the best place to be in the future. And just obviously nearing the, not nearing the end of my degree, but, you know, getting older and starting to plan my career, something I've been giving a lot of thought to. And yeah, just wanted to share that. Busy training on here with Tyler and the rest of Heronbridge. There's Kyle and there's Mike Green and there's Liam Lazell on the bench. All is well. Um, feeling kind of tired, but all good. Going by it there, going fast forward, yeah, there's no time here. Yeah, we don't pass out, we don't gotta see the sight till the road's gone dark. We don't need the headlights, yeah, we don't stop a red light till you're feeling alright. We could do this all night, yeah, said it once or twice, said I'm hoping that you're feeling light. Now we're gonna roll the dice, gonna do it by my way now, too. That's right, let me in or kill me now. While the bouncer kick me out, can we take a little break? Keep me here, I might be late. Okay, so I lied to you, I don't know what my home scale is on about but i actually weigh 76 uh, i just weighed myself as we left the gym now so that means i uh, lost eight kilograms since august and just one or two more in the last few weeks and that so not bad starting the creatine and that again today with gym session how are you feeling what i'm good that's good doesn't look good no i'm just stretching okay we did arms not legs yeah my arms are sore Obviously been neglecting them. I'm just at the vet picking up some pills for the doggies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, home to uh, carry on studying. Especially you, writing the trick. Got three more, no, how many more this week? Three more this week. Yay! And it's off to rage. So, I uh, can finally start taking supplements again now. So this is just um, bulking stuff. Yeah, the dogs are crying in the background. This is just bulking stuff, it's protein and maltodextrin, so not the um, most nutritious, but it's only like 10 grams of protein per serving, but it's fine for starting to gain weight and get stronger, and as soon as this and the other bulking one I've got are finished, I'll just take straight protein, and obviously with creatine, but my creatine is still at res, so next week. 
Hey, what's up? It's late now. I've just finished some studying uh, ERS for the night. But uh, the marks for ELI came out and I passed. I was so happy. I actually got 60% in the exam. I was just looking through the EPS and looking um, at my different marks for the different sections and that, as I expected, some of the really difficult Fourier transform questions I got bugger all marks for. But even other stuff that I worked really hard on and kind of understood and put a lot of effort into, like graphical convolution um, and the proofs, and some of the maths functions and that I, I did quite well in the sections like Laplace um, and the zero state and zero input responses I got like four marks for so I was so happy I got 60% for my exam I actually was worried I might even have to sup um, that subject after that exam it was really difficult um, but obviously they allocated a lot of method marks that I received and so I actually end up for the subject on like a 57 or so really happy. This was the only subject I was really worried about stopping. We'll see how the ERS exam goes on Thursday, but man just might be starting his holiday on Thursday, and it's Monday night now, so last exam syndrome has set in. I better um, study hard tomorrow, else I'm gonna <laughs> do fuck all. <laughs> but yeah, good news. After just a few days of rain, the garden is so green. What do you think, Rusk? Is it green? Is it such a green garden? Eh? The only problem with studying at home is that I constantly get distracted by uh, these beautiful creatures. Hey, hey, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? This is my last full day at Tux Village studying. Tomorrow we ride at midday and then we're just going to party for the rest of the day. And why must there be a leaf cutter on the last day? I'm trying to leave with good memories, man. I'm trying. Anyway, busy studying EORS, it's going well. Uh, finite state machines, Carnot maps, register transfer level diagrams, VHDL code, binary, standard cell layouts, just lots of diagrams, lots of CMOS implementation. Yeah, going well. I just want to be on holiday now, so midday tomorrow, last exam, and then freedom. I am finished my last exam. It was poon difficult, we all battled really hard, just like the register transfer level diagrams were difficult and a lot of the questions were really strange and required like knowledge that we didn't really know and that you couldn't find in the slides easily because you were allowed the slides in the test not that it helps all the time um yeah it was just really difficult but i'm glad it's done going back to resin after chill and then yeah just have a good night simple menopause but she got him shit he got away santa monica then we found the city of la from all the bars daddy go daddy wanna play what is happening why we take this shitty holiday sick of menopause but she got him shit he got away santa monica then we found the city of la from all the bars daddy